If you apply a filter to a table in which sequence number is entered in Excel, there is a problem that the sequence number is different every time like this. In this case I will show you a simple tip on how to keep this sequence number unchanged while we do filtering. As a solution, I will enter subtotal function in the cell where I want to enter the serial number. The subtotal function can, either include or exclude values in hidden rows. The function behavior is controlled by the function name argument, which is provided as a numeric value. As shown in the table, there are 11 functions available, each with two options. When function name is between 1 to 11, subtotal includes cells that have been manually hidden. For example, if I use the value 3 as a function name argument, and I will count the rows which are not empty as the ref argument from the next column. I will copy the formula in the following rows. Now let's hide some rows manually. As you can see, the serial number included the rows which are hidden manually. When function name is between 101 to 111, subtotal excludes values in rows that have been manually hidden. Let's put 103 instead of value 3 as function num argument. Let's hide few rows manually. Now the sequence number excluded the manually hidden rows from counting. However, when we use filter option to hide rows, both function num arguments are excluding the hidden rows. Because we don't hide the rows manually but by using a filter option. Let's remove the manually hidden rows. I will switch to number 3 as function num argument. And I will copy the formula on the following rows. Let's use the filter option now. As you can see the rows are exclude the hidden rows from counting. Let's change the function num argument to 103. Then apply filter again. Also exclude the hidden rows from counting. So be careful when you use the subtotal function num argument. Examine the circumstances carefully and use the suitable function num argument in their function. I hope this lesson was useful for you. If it is, please put a like and subscribe to my channel to receive more useful lesson on Excel.